Recently, I spent several days with a group of PBIA master instructors at the BCA Expo in Vegas. During a break, we were showing each other cool shots we had learned over the years. One set of shots we had fun with were wing shots, showed to us by my longtime advisor, co-author, and friend, Bob Jewett. A wing shot is where the target ball is moving like a bird flying or on the wing when hunting. Here's Earl Strickland showing off his skill with a standard wing shot Bob had us try. Obviously, this isn't a shot that comes up during regular play, but it is fun to try as a proposition or exhibition shot. It also gives you practice hitting balls without thinking. This can be a good exercise for somebody who thinks too much when down on a shot. At first glance, wing shots seem almost impossible, especially to do them as effectively as Earl, but wing shots go more often than you might think they should. One reason is you are not overthinking the shot. And as we will see later, the biggest reason is physics. I can't think of a greater shot, and I've made millions of them. <laughs> <laughs> The standard way to do a wing shot is to send the object ball down the table with your hand like this. But an easier variation is hitting the object ball with the cue before the cue ball like this. Here's the setup for the shot. Place the cue ball on the head string in line with the corner and foot spot. And freeze the object ball to the cue ball in line with the side pocket to help you visualize the amount of cut you want. It helps to place the balls the same way for each attempt so the aim and sideways shift to the cue ball can be as consistent as possible. The standard challenge is to pocket the ball on the wing along a line outside of the foot spot. It's considered cheating to roll the object ball slowly and hit the cue ball early like this, although it is still a challenge. The shot can work over a range of speeds. Here, I hit the object ball a little slow and make contact early. Here, I hit the object ball a little fast, but I also hit the cue ball fairly quickly. Timing is very important. Here, I wait a little too late and go long of the pocket. Here, I hit the cue ball a little too fast and early and come up short. Although, a wide range of hits can pocket the ball. Here, I hit the object ball a little early but fuller and it still goes. And here, I hit the object ball a little early but thinner and it still goes. Here's an example of good object ball and cue ball speeds and timing, trying to get a hit close to the foot spot. Regardless of the speeds and hit timing you choose, the important thing is to be consistent. With a little practice, you can get dialed in and pocket two or more balls in a row. Here, I managed to pocket five in a row after only a little practice. Well, I got lucky. <laughs> You should try to pocket a static object ball close to the foot spot from the same cue ball position to appreciate the difficulty of the wing shot. You might expect to make the shot most of the time, but the shot is not a gimme and it is missable. Shouldn't the wing shot be a lot harder than this with the object ball moving? Well, it turns out physics is your friend with wing shots. If you use good timing and the right amount of cut, it goes but it also goes if you hit it early or too thin by accident. In these cases, the forward motion of the object ball helps curve it forward more than it would with a later or fuller hit. Look how much I cut the ball, but because the object ball is moving forward to begin with, it continues to move forward, sending it to the pocket. Look how much the object ball curved forward, and the earlier or thinner you hit the object ball, the more time it has to move forward. So wing shot physics is self-correcting and helps create a wider margin for error than with a static shot. That's the main reason why wing shots are much easier than they might seem. Here are more examples from a different view. This is an average hit. This is a little early and thin and it still goes. And this is a little late and thin but still goes. Again, there is a fairly wide margin for error thanks to the self-correcting physics. Here's another standard wing shot, this time a cross corner bank. Here's the recommended setup. The object ball is on the head string along the corner pocket line, and the cue ball is frozen to the object ball on the head string. Send the object ball toward the diamond above the corner and try to get a hit when the object ball is within a diamond of the banking rail. 
Again, the timing needs to be fairly good. For example, I hit this one much too fast and early. And I hit this one a little late and full. The same self-correcting physics that made the earlier cut wing shot easier also makes this cross corner bank wing shot easier. This shot has the added feature that it can also go in other pockets, so be sure to tell your audience or proposition bet taker that a bank to any pocket counts. If you hit the object ball too thin, early, or fast, it has a chance to go twice across. Nothing but net. And if you hit the object ball too full or late, it can also go two rails to the side. Again, with only a little practice, you can make several in a row. Here, I made two and almost three. Again, try the static bank shot to develop an appreciation for how difficult the wing shot should be. This shot is tough. Again, the self-correcting physics of the wing shot magically makes the shot easier. Well, I got luck in the <laughs> Give the wink shots a try. You might be surprised by how well you do, and you might even impress some people. I was certainly shocked by how many I was able to make in a row after just a little practice. Have fun, and good luck with your game from Dr. Dave.